Jonathan Hood from your hometown, Argos, representing a head of the game training and mentoring program, and you are in the loop. I always knew I wanted to be a professional athlete. I, when I was growing up, my first love was basketball. Really loved it. Always played basketball. Imagine being, you know, the next Michael Jordan. Growing up, I also had a friend who played football, and he was a phenomenal athlete. And he played, and I went to his games, and I wasn't able to play just because my parents couldn't afford to put me into it. So, played basketball, and uh, I switched high schools in grade 10, and the new school I was at had a football team, so I went and tried out for the team. He asked me if I ever played, I said, yeah, and it was true. I went in, I was fast, I was good, naturally, so. Teachers cared, for the most, most of the teachers cared, and they demanded uh, a lot from the students. And they didn't demand it in the sense of uh, beating us down, but by encouraging us and uh, challenging us. Recently, I have signed with the Toronto Argos. It's amazing to be a part of uh, the Argos because I grew up watching these guys. My own. And uh, I really love Pinball Clemens, and I hope to get in touch with him soon to have another mentor in my you know, arsenal. But, uh, but uh, he's an amazing guy, and I uh, everything that I saw growing up and associated with the Argos, the championships, the community work, they came to our basketball our school and played basketball against us. Everything is positive, and everything you know I looked up to, and I wanted to be, uh, I want, to, I aspired to. In my volunteer, I volunteered in university. We did. Well, I was part of a group called X Project, and we went on the reserves in Nova Scotia, and we tutored kids, and we helped them out. I also took a trip to Grenada and helped in the schools, and I took a trip in to Cuba and to different study. areas. I really, I really saw that kids soaked everything up like a sponge. So if you put negative things in them, they're going to soak it up. And if you put positive things, you speak life into them, they're going to grow. It's like a seed. How do you want that seed to grow? What do you want that seed to grow into? So all this time I'm realizing that then as I became an athlete and a professional athlete, we have appearances and we do community work. And I was always called upon to do that naturally or requested by the community just because, you know, I'll, I'm the type who will stop and say hi to a kid or a fan or take time to sign, sign an autograph. And everything in my life, even my own experience with mentors, gave me the, the, the want and desire to give back and to do something. And when I was visiting one of my mentors, principal of school, when we first started the program, the kids in the school just came to us. They gravitated us. I was with two of my teammates. They just came. And we were talking, and I was going to speak at the school, and, and he was like, you know, the thing is, we get all of these speakers that want to come in, and they want to give us a good word, and it's great. It's amazing. It fires everybody up. But where is the engagement? We give them positive, constructive feedback. And that really is what people need. You know, you need support, you need resources, and you need feedback. You need to know what you need to do to get to the top, to have your dream be fulfilled. And you need to have a pillar so that when you go out and take a risk, whether you succeed or fail right away, you always have someone to run back to, someone to say, hey man, I didn't do the best that I could. Some of the pat going back say, no, you did. You know what? You tried out. I'm proud of you. So now I have the strength and the courage to go out again. Now I'm not afraid of failure. So I can face the day with a positive attitude. And that's what we want. That's what we do. That's what we strive to do. And that's what we have been successful at. We partner with different um, organizations in the community. And we do things like we select kids to go on trips uh, across the country. 
and we uh, select kids to serve in the community. And it's amazing that once you start getting into the minds of the young people, is that, and I believe it's the same with adults, is that everybody is a creator. And some people create music, some people create poetry, some people create art on, on the field, like me, you know. And the, 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 when the creative juices begin to flow, and when you have the confidence to share that creativity, that's when you get big ideas. That's when you get energized. That's when you get to the point where you're doing things that you love and you're loving the things that you do. And if you have that sense of, uh, you know, that sense of completeness and that sense of energy, that sense of positivity going out every day, I think, you, you know, you, you're, you're living a great life.